to my next tutorial. Today, we're going to be making one of these beautiful trees. You know it's beautiful. Be strong, though. Don't cry. Let's get started. We're going to start off with the cone. There it is. Just drag it over. I'm going to zoom in and change that to 13 in height. We're going to leave everything else the same. Now, pay attention to this part. We're going to duplicate this cone. Control D. I'm going to rotate it 90, actually 180 degrees. And I'm going to change the angle by right clicking and going down here. Now I'm going to click the letter W and look what happens. This thing appears essentially asking me, where do I want the floor to be? I want the floor to be underneath this thing. So I click on it. Now I'm going to click the letter D and the cone that was up here is now down here. Now I'm going to click the letter W again, W, and I click on the floor for it to be the floor. I'm going to uh, keep this angle because this right here is now going to be 7.5. Actually, you see how it went down? I'm going to change that because I don't want this angle anymore. I want this angle. Actually, which angle do I want? This one. I want this to be at the tip of the, like a little Rudolph right here. Click on it and 7.5, 7.5, enter. That way it goes up and they stay the same. I'm gonna group this, so I'm gonna select both and then control G. Now I'm gonna raise this up into the air and I'm gonna make it go up, I'm gonna click on here, 107.5, enter. Okay, we're good. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Now this part is very important. If you don't follow every step, you're not going to get the same design. It's going to be a lot more work. So please pay attention to this. So I'm going to duplicate control D. Now still selected. Now, I haven't clicked on anything, but I'm going to hit the shift button and move this. So it says 26. You see that number right there? Actually, I'm sorry, 25, 25. Now I'm going to move this down negative three negative it's going to go to negative 12. there it is now it's still selected i haven't clicked on anything it's still selected so now i'm going to hit Control d one two three four times there we go now let's make sure that it's perfectly aligned so i'm selecting everything clicking and dragging click the letter l and it's not perfectly aligned so i'm going to click here and now it is perfectly aligned it's beautiful I'm going to get a cylinder. I'm going to maximize the sides and I'm going to change the dimensions. I'm going to go with 30 by 30 enter and the height technically. Yeah, let's keep the height the way it is. But now we're going to align everything. I selected everything. Click the letter L. Here we go. And there we go. This is the basic design, basic design. Okay. Now we're going to group this, control G. That's beautiful. Now I'm going to change this to a hole. There you go. Now I'm going to bring this box over here and I'm going to make it, let's just make it 110 by 110. Oops. And height of, no way, you guessed it, 110. I'm going to click on the box and then click the letter T to make it transparent. Ooh, I did not make it high enough. So let's make this one. Let's go with 130 just to be safe. Now I'm going to center it. I'm going to select both. Click and drag. Click the letter L. And then here and here. Okay. It is good now. All right. So I'm going to group this right here. Control G. Now I'm going to change that to a hole. There you go. Now let's get a cube. And we're to make this one millimeter by 100. There we go. Now, this part, very important, very important. I'm gonna duplicate, control D, and I'm going to rotate this 10 degrees, okay? Notice I didn't click on anything else. Still selected now, I'm gonna go I'm going to duplicate over and over again until it reaches its origin. Okay, there we go. Nothing's changed. We're all good right there. Now I'm going to group this, control G. 
And this one is going to go to, I believe it's 110. Actually, no, it's going to have to be higher than this. So let's go to 120. Now let's see, did it cover that? No, we have to make it just a little bit higher. <clears throat> let's go 125. 125. Now I'm going to select both of these, click the letter L and select and select. Now, one of the great things, I'm going to group these two. One of the great things about this one in particular is that you don't need any supports. You don't need any supports. This part here is going to be solid. You can't change that. And that right there is your tree. It's going to be beautiful. All right, you guys, thanks for paying attention, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.